friends, I cannot believe we are already on day three. <laughs> are you guys still hanging in there with me? Um, if you have been joining me this whole week, welcome, and I'm glad you are back. But if you're just joining and you're like, what on earth is she talking about? Um, this whole week, I am spending a good amount of time just talking about my March kit, which is the Aroba Touch Diffused Kit. I'm going over each oil extensively, um, teaching you what it is, how to use it, um, you know, anything and everything about the oil. So day one, I did lavender. Day two, I did melaleuca. Melaleuca. And um, today we are going to talk all about doTERRA's massage blend, Aroma Touch. So I'm going to be honest with you guys because I feel like honesty is the best policy. This oil is a new one to me. But when I was preparing for my March kit, because I do that a few weeks in advance and I knew that I wanted to do this kit, um, I went ahead and got a bunch of these with the BOGO because that was one of the BOGOs that they had. And I just spent a lot of time using it, um, diffusing it, kind of experimenting with it on myself, along with all the research that I've just been doing to prepare um, for this little um, Aroma Touch March kit, um, like 101. So I'm going to say that I'm actually kind of in love with this oil and I don't know where it's been my whole life and um, wish that I would have had it a lot sooner. So that's why there's not as many um, rollers. And in fact, I don't have this in any of my rollers yet, but I pulled out the two rollers that I am going to add it to um, when these guys empty and I need to refill it. So we'll talk about that later. So in a nutshell, the main ingredients of Aroma Touch are basil, grapefruit, cypress, marjoram, lavender, and peppermint. And it is a blend that... It's a blend that encourages muscle tissue healing, relaxes and soothes muscles, and enhances blood flow. So that's why they've called it the massage blend. This is a really good topical oil, which is also why you'll see when you get your little bottle and you're flipping it around, there's no supplement facts anywhere. So this is again, you know, I've been talking about this on and off. How do you know if it's an oil you can take internally? Well, you just look at your bottle and if it goes straight to the essential oil blend and doesn't give you any sort of um, nutrition facts, it's not to be taken internally. So you can diffuse this and you can apply it topically. So let's talk about some of Aroma Touch's main uses, the things that this oil blend is going to be really, really useful for. As you can see, this is an oil that is going to be just really good for your body, your muscle, your joints, um, your bones, stuff like that, aches and pains. Um, but let's go in uh, detail a little bit. So the first thing, the first uh, top use would be muscle aches and arthritis. And so for this, you're just going to dilute it and apply to the area of concern directly on it, whether you have arthritis in your uh, wrist or in your knees or you worked out really hard and your muscles are kind of screaming at you, um, this would maybe also be one that I would put in my son's growing pains um, to help him whenever he's having sort of like his like muscly, achy growing pain. This oil is also really good for headaches, neck, and back pain. So again, you're going to apply it directly to the area of concern diluted with your carrier oil. Um, and so for neck pain, you're going to apply it to your neck if you've got back pain you know have somebody rub it up and down your spine or on your back shoulder pain you know anywhere where you're having like just tension and neck pain go ahead and um, apply it directly to that um, so then the next point that I have is going along with that any muscle tension soreness or even like cramping so must um, sorry menstrual cramps would be really good with this so that's why I've got these two rollers out and when these are empty I'm definitely adding some of this to it to help protect um, and uh, help me with my cramps and any tension that we are facing which we do 
struggle a lot with tension. Um, my husband and I, we just, we carry it all <laughs> in our muscles, whether it be inflammation or like stress, it just all goes to like our neck and our shoulders and our, the base of our head and stuff like that. This oil is also going to be really good for restless leg syndrome. So that's not something that, um, I've really dealt with a lot, but you're going to apply it to the area of concern to stimulate the nerves and help the circulation. Anybody who is needing connective tissue um, or ligament support, <clears throat> excuse me, this oil is going to be really good for that. Again, dilute it and apply it straight to the area of concern. And for anyone that you may know that has high blood pressure issues, um, I know somebody specifically in my family um, struggles with high blood pressure and are looking to get off of their blood pressure medicine. So this is one that I have recommended to them. Um, so for this one, you know, you might want to create your own little roller bottle that says like, you know, blood pressure or something like that appropriately diluted. And you're going to actually apply this one to the bottoms of your feet. For those of you who um, suffer with poor circulation, um, you know, your hands or your feet are always really cold, this would be another really good oil for that. And again, you're going to apply it to the area of concern diluted appropriately. This uh, blend also is really a good blend for like emotional support um, because it has things like basil and grapefruit and lavender. Um, so sometimes I'll diffuse this alone or I'll diffuse it with like lemon or orange or something like that. And, or even I've actually diffused this um, with like serenity at nighttime. Um, and one special thing that I should say about this oil. So with certain oils, um, citrus oils are some of them, bergamot is another one, um, and then this aroma touch, it's what we call photosensitive. So what that means is if you are applying this topically or any of those oils, sorry, any of those oils um, topically, you just really want to be careful about being in the sunlight. Um, for this one specifically, you want to avoid contact with direct sunlight for about 12 hours after you apply it. So just make sure you apply it to an um, area of your body that's going to be covered with pants or shoes or a shirt or a hat or something like that. Um, or maybe wait until you're done for the day or at nighttime so that you're not going to come into contact with a lot of um, direct sunlight. Um, so I think that that's it about Aroma Touch. And again, this is one of the eight oils that is in my March kit, and you can find that on my feed. If you are interested in learning more about my March kit, um, interested in learning more about Aroma Touch or just essential oils in general, um, if you've been on the fence, now would be a really good time to DM or email me. And I would love to just, you know, email back and forth or text back and forth or whatever and just really um, just talk with you and get to know you and get to know kind of um, what you are feeling and thinking about. So I hope this has helped you and... And happy Tuesday, guys. Um, stay tuned for tomorrow where we'll do day four.